876, we're off. We're off. Happy uh, solar eclipse day, everybody. <laughs> Jewel, did you, uh, my sister's on here from California. Did you see the eclipse or is it too far away? Or did you just watch it live on the computer? It was crazy. It was, <clears throat> we only had like a partial eclipse. It didn't really, mm -hmm. you couldn't really see anything here, but I was outside planting in the garden and it was just so weird. It's like a haze, like a filter, like a gray haze. Yeah, it was like a filter over the whole farm, and it, everything was just still and quiet and eerie feeling, yeah. mm -hmm. like it is right before a tornado. Yeah, the it's roosters, the roosters started crowing. I guess they thought it was another day it happened, and they didn't know it. It oh. was really weird. Yep. But I was still planting. Oh yeah. I mean, hey. You plant with the phases of the moon. So That's I right. figure if you plant with the solar eclipse, good things are going to happen. Yeah, maybe so. <laughs> maybe, the, maybe the potatoes and everything will come up. Maybe. Extra special. Maybe. We'll see. Hey, Diana, our groovy grandma from Toledo, Ohio. Hey, Luanda. Hello, fellow table guests. Happy Monday. Hey, guys. Becky. Uh, I, I don't know how to say your last Dick. I'm not even going to try. Hey, roosters, Becky. Yeah, the roosters went nuts. Yeah, the roosters <laughs> did go nuts. Hey, Allison. Higher ground. Higher ground. Yes. Hey, how are y'all? Y'all coming Haven't to the meeting? Haven't seen you in a while. Hey, Lynn. How's it going? I saw some pictures of your grandbabies on Facebook, I think. Man, they're growing up. Everybody's Tina, Tina Lucas. Everybody's Tina, growing up. Tina. Okay. Hey, Janice from Cleveland, Tennessee. Wow. Good. Yes. Good. Higher Grounds <clears throat> Farm will be at Antiques in the Garden. We're looking forward to seeing y'all. It's going to be awesome. Cat's Tiny Kitchen. Is it kind of like my mom's one-butt kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> in her cabin, we built, she calls it a one-butt kitchen. Hey, Go Jean mm -hmm. Go. Good evening. Hey, Higher Grounds Farm, put in the comments what y'all's names are, your first names. And send me a, a email. I want to ask you about if you want to participate in our fall YouTubers event this year. Hey, New Linda, Hampshire. New you were Hampshire. Up there. You were right. up there. My son's up there now in New yeah. Hampshire. Yeah. 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 I love it. Hey, that place. Tina. Beautiful. Awesome. We're so glad everybody's joined us pretty much. <laughs> pretty on much much. <laughs> ah. <coughs> Troy and Heather. That's right. That's right. I remember your faces forever, but I, I lost your names. Troy and Heather, Higher Grounds Farm. Mm -hmm. So send me an email and see if y'all want to join us for the exactly. uh, Antiques in the Garden. I mean, not Antiques in the Garden, the um, Great Fall Garden Festival in September. I want to see if you want to be. Hey, and if anybody else is on here and you are a YouTuber and you're interested in joining us for the uh, Great Fall Garden Festival event September 14th this year, Send me an email, just to get farms at gmail.com. We're going to start getting that planning and in the works. Um, right after the Antiques in the Garden event, we're going to start really heavily working on that one. Hey, Rob and Deb with Generations Homestead. How are you doing this evening? How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? <coughs> oh, Ava said hi. She loves to watch y'all. Hey, hi, Ava. Ava. How are you? You're getting so big. You're growing up. Beautiful young lady. Linda, y'all just had snow up in New Hampshire. My son sent some pictures um, where he works and the parking lots were pretty full. Kaylani said she was in a uh, sundress and flip-flops today in oh New my Hampshire. <laughs> oh, Lord. Isn't that funny? Speaking of our son and daughter-in-law, Chase and Kaylani, they we got a grandbaby update today. <laughs> the heart is beating. They, oh, yep. Oh. They had a doctor's appointment today. What's up, Chris? And um, and had another sonar done. And uh, her name's Ella Rain. And she was doing flips. <laughs> and they were having a hard she, time. She looked like her. she was she was showing her face and shoulders and <laughs> arms, but like her body and legs were balled <laughs> up and like she was hiding. Yeah. They said she she might have been working on some abs. <laughs> Doing flips and hard to see her, but 
they saw her little hands, fingers, and toes, and brain showed like her brain. She's a big girl. Did uh, G and G y'all get everything cleaned up from the storm? Hey, Catherine. Hey, Chris. Hey, Lana Hayes. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that tornado Sorry. and straight line winds, it, it was just north of us. Um, a lot of times it comes in, um, the track kind of runs across you know, at an angle, but it misses us usually by five to ten miles, and it heads up from towards Billingsley, up toward Clanton that way. And Thank God scary, it missed man. all of us. Ah. It was getting scary for a little hey, while. Hey, Connie. Hey, Connie. How are you? Are you coming to Antiques in the Garden? And Jose? Year? Jose, hey, Jose. Gene planted his. Yes. Uh, yeah, I planted the, tree. the oak tree. Oak and tree. that thing, uh, I was noticing this afternoon when I was walking, it, uh, it's really starting to uh, uh, get its leaves. Bud out. It's budding. Awesome. Yep. We're not drinking herbal tea tonight. We're just water. we're boring. We're H2O. just drinking plain old water, but out yeah. of a pretty glass. Yeah. <laughs> just dig it. <laughs> Makes it taste better when it's in pretty glass. Yeah, so we got one of those Brita, Brita water filters. That doggone thing. Oh, we good, Connie. We fill it up every time in this refrigerator, and I don't know what happens to the thing. I think this refrigerator door, the little shelf inside hits the little lever, and, and we come over here, and there's about two everywhere. gallons in our floor, and so we put a something to catch the water underneath it. If it ever happened again, and guess what? It did this afternoon. <laughs> oh, was, oh, boy. Try to be healthy, and mm, that's what you get. So, anyways, Connie and Jose are coming to the good, event. Good, good. Okay, Catherine says I've been putting my herbs in the potage for the past two days. Southern awesome. Dogwood Farms. See that's my shirt in Moulton, Alabama. Mm -hmm. Grow your own medicine. Whoa! Go, thunder? Catherine. Grow you... your own medicine, girl. We got some storms brewing around us. I heard the thunder. Diana says, y'all, please hit the like button and subscribe. Yes. Hit the like button and subscribe. Please, please, please. putting my please. herbs in the pudding. Yes. Um, so. Diana said, watch the solar eclipse today in Toledo. How, oh, we were completely Yeah, dark. I saw that on, online. Um, that was pretty cool. Wow. Especially when it went over Niagara Falls. That was crazy. Weird. Um, so, so our shirts are on our spread shop. Southern Dogwood Farms. You can get from the Moulton. Where, well, you can get the link to the spread shop on our website, just to get farms.com. Have we met them yet? Southern Dogwood? Southern Dogwood Farms. Moulton, 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 Moulton. Moulton. Huntsville, North I don't Alabama. know. Have we met y'all yet? Don't know. Maybe we will see. Brown thumb. <laughs> yep. Finally planted the garden yep. yesterday. So your thumbs aren't brown no more. They done got black in that soil. <laughs> they green. Yeah, green thumb. Uh, Connie says she just watched you calling the oh, owl. Yeah, yeah that, that was, was crazy. crazy. It was right out this window, and that was crazy. Um, what Jeez, was really cool? Gift. What was really cool was at the very end of that, um, there was two of them, and they came up. They were, I think, they're mating. But they gave this wah, 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 weird, crazy noise where they were talking back and forth to each other. It was wild. And it was pretty cool. I think they were serenading each other. Yeah, it was crazy. So our other grandbaby update, Cooper, who Cooper. is 10 months old, is growing. Oh, my gosh. He is a big yep. chunk, a big chunk of love. Mm. They went to the beach, and he was crawling all in the water. He loves it. He's so cute. Yep. Muddy, dirty, and sunburned. Yep. Yeah, the sun's been I've been getting the old farmer's tan going on. Yep. Um solar eclipse was crazy here in Northwest, Northwest Ohio. Ohio. Glenn says just liked. Thanks for the reminder. Mm. All right. Thank you. Thank Email you for the much. fall event, me and T, or do we need list already? I'll see. I got you down. Luanda, I'll send you the uh, application when we get it all together. I got you in my in, in my notes. Rhonda, I used to live in Locust Fork. At, well, I didn't live in Locust Fork. I used to live in Rimlap. It's crazy. Small world, but I would ride a school bus all the way over to Locust Fork. Um, but, yep, Hayden has been the stomping grounds years ago, back back eons. You rode to school bus? I thought you walked to school barefooted in the snow. I did have to walk down, <laughs> down our mountain. When I missed the school bus up top, I had to 
<laughs> had to run all the way down the steep mountain. Uh, Okie dokie. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, y'all. So we will be going. We are leaving and headed to Keepers of the Always this weekend. Mm -hmm. We're excited. It's at Landmark Park in Dothan, Alabama. And I'm excited about mm -hmm. it. Get to go see some friends and learn some new stuff. There's a, a, a sourdough class going on, too, that I'm going to take. Mm -hmm. Try to learn how to make our own sourdough bread. Jean's going to go to some processing classes with Perry Hill. We're looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. So it's Friday the 12th and Saturday the 13th. And you can go to the website, Keepers of the Old Ways, and purchase your tickets if y'all want to come. We're going to be there on Saturday. So mm -hmm. be fun to, to meet some of y'all or get to see some of y'all. Mm -hmm. um, and then don't forget the following weekend on April the 20th is our Antiques in the Garden YouTubers Meet and There's Greet a, event. Hey, Chase. A... We were just talking about Ella Rain. Yep. Doing flips today and having a hard time seeing her. <laughs> Look at there. We got the brick nails on here. We so got, Jules yeah. right there. Under, well, we got a, a partial, partial eclipse. Mm. Okay. Yeah, ours was partial too. Yeah. We didn't I get think, to I don't know. It might have been like 40%, 50%. I don't know what it was. Hey, Janice. Uh, great. Looking forward to seeing you at Antiques. It's going to be a fun, fun day. We love it. Mm hmm. Uh, so our uh, son Chance and daughter-in-law Renee and grandbaby Cooper will be at Antiques in the Garden too. Yeah, yes. It's gonna be fun, fun, fun. Mm -hmm. uh, you had me at sourdough. I know, <laughs> I know. I, me too. I've I, always wanted to learn how to do it, and I just, to be honest, the reason I haven't learned how to do it is because. Bread is her drug. Bread is my. In fact, Jean bought me a T-shirt that says "Manna" because I, I am a, <laughs> I can live on bread. What and you have cheese. for breakfast? Bread. Can, bread. What are you having for dinner? Bread. bread. I can just eat bread and be happy. And I didn't want to start making um, sourdough because I always thought you had to like feed it and make it every day. Yeah. You had to make bread every day, which I found out now that that's not true. <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm going to learn how to do it, but I didn't want to make a loaf of bread every day because I would eat a loaf of bread every day. And yeah. I certainly don't need a loaf of bread every mm -hmm. day. Uh, Chase said there was a full, full eclipse. eclipse in New Hampshire. Cool. Yep. Hey, Linda Brittnell, we do have the There's whole Brittnell gang hey, going here. That, how's, that, <laughs> how's that one butt kitchen doing you, mom? There was someone on here earlier that's got a one butt kitchen. I tell you what, I, Sunday after church, my mom cooked us some good old fried chicken and taters and in that one butt kitchen and green yeah. beans. What That's else good. we have? Uh, uh, biscuits. Yeah, homemade, homemade biscuits, biscuits and sorghum, sorghum syrup. Mm -hmm. It yep. reminded me of my dad. My dad used to take sorghum syrup and butter Almost and butter. mix it all together, make make like a little, I don't yeah. know what, but sorghum cream. syrup and butter, and then he'd spread Blather it on his biscuits and, and eat. pass out. Yeah, too much sugar. <laughs> hey, Chestnut Hills. Hey, Zoe and Nick. How are y'all? Yep. yep, working his butt <laughs> off. Yeah, <coughs> I wish it was my stomach. <laughs> my butt's not real big, but my stomach. I need. I could lose a good bit of that. Goodness, well, I can't quit coughing. The merciful. Night. But yeah, we're excited because uh, uh, we got to eat a. A lot, and it, that <laughs> that was uh my pretty much only meal for the day. Hey, I pop, all Jean, pop. Hey, Good pop. Gracious, we got the brick nails. Got the whole brick nail gang on here. That's awesome. Yep. Um. So I have. We have been planting the garden. We have planted. We planted Cog Hill sunflower collection. Mm -hmm. We planted some zinnias, um, corn. You planted yep, three different corn. types corn. of corn. Yes. <laughs> Which ones? Oh, don't <laughs> me lying. Silver Queen, um, peaches and cream, um, and honey, something honey, from Honey, sweet, um, something like that. We planted watermelons. Monica Martin, what's up, cantaloupes. sister from another mother? That's my cuz. Wow, the whole Look brand gang is on here tonight. Hey, Monica. Uh, hey, Eileen. Looking forward to seeing you at Antiques, too. 
Um, so we planted corn, zipper peas, uh, pole, yes. Kentucky Wonder pole beans. Um, I can't wait. Yellow to get zipper squash, peas. zucchini. I planted butternut squash today. Mm. I can't and wait for some squash red and onions. Squash. And, and I planted the dahlias from the Florette collection today. The bees, uh, what was it? Bees Choice Dahlia. Um, we've planted cucumbers, um, okra, mm -hmm. seed. I put went ahead and put some seeds in the ground. It's still a little bit early for okra. It's not quite warm enough, but I went ahead and put my seeds in the ground. Well, what did you say about filling your big pot with flowers? Put in a thriller and then the filler. And, and a, a spiller. And a spiller. So yes. what Janice O'Connor is talking about is when you're planting containers, what I like to do to have a big, dramatic, beautiful <clears throat> container is to first plant your thriller. That's something tall. Higher ground gets an A. <laughs> something tall that's like a dramatic focal point and then a filler is just something little that goes around the pot and then a spiller or something that's just going to spill over your pot so a thriller a filler and the spiller makes a beautiful dramatic pot sounds like a boxing movie chris planting cucumbers and strawberries mother. trying a little bit at a time yep. all right that a boy what else have we planted i, I still you, got you, a lot to plant yeah a lot well, we got a lot to water. We got. Yeah. I'm glad it's raining. It started raining this afternoon. Yeah. But um, I got a ways got to go on my irrigation. Whew. We still got a lot to plant, but we're just doing like yeah, Chris and just getting in a little bit at a time. Because it's calling Connie for. Connie wants us to bring her some honey. It's calling for uh, keepers of the old lower forties. Oh, good, Connie. Again this week and <clears throat> here. It's like a microclimate. We're like three degrees less than what it says for our local local town. Mm -hmm. And it's too close to freezing because at 38, 39, you can get a little frost. Yeah. So I just. Tomatoes do not out. like. We've got a lot of tomatoes got and we're just scared to, to put plant. them in the ground. Um, Connie, we're out of honey. We're out well, of honey. I might can scrounge up a bottle. I think there might be a couple of bottles in there. I'll try to find some to bring you. They're get, they're busy though. Yeah, they're busy. We're gonna have some, but uh, I'll see if I'm finding you some. Red Dirt Road says hello from Five Points, Alabama. Hello, Red Dirt Road Homestead. Red Dirt Road. Hey, let's do this. If you have, if you're a YouTuber and you have a YouTube channel, um, let us know. Let us know on here. Uh, Nava Pierce, good evening from. There's that word again. Oh Lord. I forgot how to Aren't pronounce you? it. <laughs> I don't know. Janet's uh, joining us from Cape Cod, from Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Hey. Oh yes. Yes. I Hi, like those. Everyone. Hey, Faye. I love those cold water lobsters. Woo -hoo -hoo. I, That's good stuff. We will not have honey at the Antiques in the Garden event, Chris. I'm sorry, we're out. We should be harvesting. No, when's Antiques? Antiques next week. Oh, I thought that was the next uh -uh. one. No, we'll See, have I'm... it for the fall festival in September, yeah. but we won't have any antiques. I'm, we're out right now. We're probably about a month and a half to two months away from harvesting our first time this year. Okay, so, so Adventures with Me and T is a YouTube channel. G&G Farms is a YouTube channel. Y'all go check them out. Um, Generations Homestead is a YouTube channel. And who else is on here? Chestnut Hills Farmstead is a YouTube channel. Um, uh, there was another Bellevue, one. Nebraska. We can't go back and look, can we? Okay, I better not touch. Don't anything. be touching this thing. <laughs> but y'all go check out these if you're not following these YouTube channels Ooh. that we're mentioning. Y'all go check them Ooh. out, okay? What happened? Oh, well, you touched. There it comes. That's why I should not touch anything. Higher Grounds Farm is a YouTube channel. Uh, Red Dirt Road Homestead says we have one, but nothing's on it yet. Trying to figure it out. It's it's a uh, uh, it's a learning curve. That's for sure. Hey, this month on the twenty third, we will be doing YouTube for five years now. This will be our fifth year on April twenty third. Can't believe it's already been five years crazy anyway we just hit 30,000 subscribers too on youtube exciting yeah, check this out 
oh yeah, this is what we're bringing to the table tonight. Instead of herbal tea, I cut some flowers in the garden today. Ooh. Oh, it's got water. In oh, it. <laughs> I didn't know it's got water. I thought I had one of the little fruit fruit. That's, that's how things. there's no, it's so Most jar of water. <laughs> Check out the flowers. Isn't it beautiful? Look what's boop, already boop, blooming boop, 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 boop. out there in April the 8th. Yeah, let's see. We've got to give this show. Let me tell y'all what's in here. Here we let's go. Let's talk here, about a few things. You. This rose, isn't she beautiful? This is Souvenir. Well, I was going to here get her Here she out. goes with these names. She is Souvenir de la Maume Sun. Ooh, watch your she language. beautiful? She's a shrub rose. She only gets about three feet tall, and she's gorgeous. I smell so good. She's beautiful, beautiful. This is, this is Galorda, or blanket flower. And this little thing is just keeps on blooming it don't matter how hot it is it'll just keep on keep on blooming <laughs> we do need a smell of vision yes <laughs> this is what else is it? oh these are cosmos flip her around those are cosmos that i planted from seed they're still in the greenhouse i hadn't got them out in the garden yet and they're blooming so i cut some and this is comfrey comfrey is one of my favorite herbs it's called the wound heal or bone knit plant. I'm trying to get some out. The bone knit plant. And this thing helps to heal broken sprains, bones, fractures. broken bones, wounds. Like it is an awesome herb. And it's awesome in the garden too because it's, uh, it's like a fertilizer plant. It's a dynamic accumulator. So it mines up the minerals and nutrients from the earth. And then you can chop and drop this. And it adds it back into your soil for your plants. It's a super, super great herb to plant. We love comfrey. We make a comfrey salve out of this too. And this, this is who I really want to talk to y'all about. This is Spanish lavender. Let me see if I can get a piece out of it. I'm messing my arrangement all up. All right. This is Spanish lavender. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the little bloom. It's like a little butterfly bloom. It's so, so pretty. I love it. Lavender, lavender. So I wanted to tell y'all, are we missing a bunch of comments and stuff? I wanted to tell y'all a little bit about this Spanish lavender because lavender is kind of hard for us to grow here in the South. And it's because it really doesn't like our humidity so much, our moisture and humidity. And we mostly in the South have clay soils and it really does not like clay soils. Lavender needs really, really, really good drainage. And it also likes like more of a neutral to an alkaline soil. And um, so if you're gonna plant lavender, to have success in planting lavender, first, the English type lavenders really don't grow well here for us. But this Spanish lavender, which is a lavandula stoet, Stoetches, I think is how you say it. Spanish lavenders or um, the uh, intermedia mixes, like mm -hmm. your phenomenal province, those kind will do better here. Um, they can take our humidity a little bit hey, better. Phyllis. Just remember when you're planting lavender to plant the right kind uh. and have really good drainage. And you might want to add a little lime in your hole when you're planting just in case, um, you probably want to know your pH first. But if you have a real acidic. Hey, uh, can you speak in your Monty Don voice? <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> I can't. I wish I could. So, it sounds like Monty Don in my head. But then when it comes out, it sounds like a ridiculous Southern girl trying to talk like me. So, <laughs> it sounds terrible. So I don't know how you can attract owls to your backyard. Um <laughs> We've got a lot of fields and pastures, so there, I'm sure there's mice up there, and yeah. you know they hang out around here. <laughs> but, but uh, also, um, how to keep rabbits out of your backyard? Whew, that's a oh, tricky one. How to keep rabbits out of your backyard? Mm, out of your garden. Uh, we we actually had a, a rabbit one day out there in uh, her garden, out near the carrots. Yeah. So I hadn't seen it in a while, though. I don't know how to keep rabbits out other than just a fence. I guess. Yeah. I don't really know how to keep and a dog. out of the garden. 
and a cat. A Clyde, a Pyrenees would keep it out, scared, mm -hmm. keep it scared to death. I don't know. I really don't know the answer to that. I don't know if you could use Milorganite. I don't know if that smell bothers them. I don't know. Hey, Liz Davis, how are you? I know uh, yesterday I was champ, Teresa, champ our lab hey, has still Teresa. got hey, Renee. a lot hey, of thick Dee. hair. He's shedding like crazy. So I, I rubbed him down and put dog hair everywhere. <laughs> Barn cats chase the rabbits. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yep. 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 Um, Elmer Fudd. If you got an Elmer Fudd <laughs> statue, you can put in your garden. Yeah. Those washy rabbits. Oh, I was going to tell y'all too about the lavender. Um, on, our very, <laughs> on our first live, we talked about lavender sugar cookies that I used to make. These are making me. I should have I should have made some lavender sugar cookies to bring to the table. Oh, tonight, I know it. But I did not. Tried to get her to make but brownies. But I was going to show y'all where I got my recipe. I I bought this book a long time ago. I don't know. Chase and Chance were babies a long, long time That's ago. That's the title of it. Gardens yeah. of Plenty. It was on one of those books a millions half off. I paid two dollars for it, and it had this lavender sugar cookie recipe in it here. And that's where I got my recipe from. So uh, <clears throat> we don't have any farm cats. No. Our farm cat ran away, and then he we thought he must have died or something. And he came back six months later on the front porch wanting food. He stayed for three days, and he left again for four months. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. We can't keep a cat here. Renee says to make lavender cookies when we come, so Coop can try them. Oh, I know. Yep, we need to do that. Cooper likes lavender sugar cookies. <coughs> so let me just tell you, for the lavender sugar cookies, if you have a sugar cookie recipe, that's it. Just do your sugar cookie recipe and add um, just a couple of teaspoons of finely chopped up lavender blooms to it, like in the mix. Just a couple of teaspoons. Don't add too much. Yeah, because it'll taste real <laughs> medicine-y. It tastes like flowers. <laughs> <clears throat> so just take your normal lavender sugar, I mean, take your normal sugar cookie recipe. Just add a couple of teaspoons of um, lavender blooms to it. And then you can also take a few and just sprinkle on the top of the cookie. Yeah. And that's it. And if you're really lazy, which I do, did this quite a few times when the boys were young, just go yes. buy. Go buy that sugar cookie mix in the packet. Yes, Pillsbury. <laughs> mix it up and throw some lavender yeah. blooms in. Christmas time, they have the little reindeer on there with Rudolph. Not those. Oh. I'm talking about like the packet of sugar cookie mix oh. that you buy and you mix it up and just throw some lavender blooms in. Yeah. You'll be good to go. That's the easy way to do it. Um, hey, Cowbell Farms. That is Jacqueline with Cowbell Farms and she has a YouTube channel. So y'all go check her out. Uh, Red Dirt Road Homestead said, do you do any consulting? I really don't. I used to. She consults me all the time. I used to do uh, garden landscape design consulting, and I just, I really don't have time for it anymore. Sorry. Did, but our YouTube them? channel, there's a lot on the YouTube channel about gardening and design. Somebody just had a thing. There I just saw. Again. Where'd it go? I saw a question. So are we going to tell them about, about let opening the gates? Hmm? Open the gates. We let Open the gate. we let the oh, goats yeah. into their big pasture this weekend. Yeah, we it did. Was, it was fun. We got a video I think she's got. Coming out come Thursday. Out. But it's beautiful. Them, uh, Bo wouldn't go through the gate. The rest of them was out there. Him and Annabelle stayed in. <coughs> I had to coax them out. And Honey I had to coax three of them out. The more uh -huh. mature ones, I don't know. They were scared to cross their border line. They were, they're used to their borders, and they were scared to cross them. So Gene finished a whole pasture section of fencing, and we let them free, and they were just, they were like being at a buffet. Oh, they were chowing down on all of the I think they wild got, flowers and everything out there growing. They loved it. They ate so much. They were, stomachs were hurting, I think. Catherine wanted to know where to get lavender and comfrey seeds. Well, I know Renee's Garden is a seed company that has those seeds. But I'm going to tell you, <laughs> lavender is super hard to grow from seed. I've never had success. But you can take a cutting super easy from lavender. So what you want to do is just take 
see these real woody, the real woody stems, they don't, they propagate easier in water just to stick those in water. But if you're propagating like in soil, you want to take like this newer, tenderer growth, strip all the leaves off. Well, not like that, but like this, you would just strip the bottom leaves off, stick it in some root tone, stick it in the soil. And this is the easier way to yeah, start get the root lavender. Tone? Root tone you can buy at Lowe's, Home Depot, any garden center. It's just a root hormone. And it um, helps to make roots develop. Stimulate the stem. It. Yeah. So lavender, really hard to grow from seed. Super easy to grow from cuttings. Comfrey, I've never grown it from seeds either. Is this a perennial Spanish lavender? Lavender is a perennial. Yes, it is. But it's... it's uh, for us, it's kind of a short-lived perennial, maybe like three years, two to three years, because it just, I don't know, it just plays out here. I think the For heat, me, anyway, the, the heat, heat. Um, probably not good enough drainage, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Comfrey, I've never grown it from seeds, but I'm sure you can. But you can just take a piece of comfrey. You can just take this right here, stick it in the soil. It'll root and go. Without root tone? Yes. It's it's like super prolific, comfrey is. Super easy to propagate it. Comfrey grows great from seeds. Good. Um, yeah, I've just never done it. And it does spread a lot. Comfrey spreads a lot. Mm -hmm. But I use it a lot. So when this comfrey is growing all in my garden, I just take it and chop it chop all the way completely down. And I take all of those leaves, flowers, everything, and I put like around my fruit trees, around my roses, just at the base. And that just makes a fertilizer that goes back down into your soil and it helps fertilize your plants. It's like a green mulch fertilizer plant. It's super, super good. Yeah, G&G, &G, you get you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll root you some Catherine I'll get you some I'll get oh, you some um, That's hilarious <laughs> I'll get you some Catherine um, I wanted it? Yeah I wanted to tell y'all About our little friend Eleanor Head Family Farm Zach and Jacqueline and Eleanor, our sweet, dear friends. That Crazy Lizzie. Love so much. Little Eleanor had surgery today on her finger. She fractured her finger and she had to have surgery and have pins put in it. Ugh. And they had to scrape away some of the tissue, like healing tissue, and then put two pins in her finger and put it in a cast. And she's home now. Mm. And she's okay right now. It's still numb, so she she don't feel it. And she's I think last time I talked to Jacqueline, she was still feeling okay from the <laughs> from the medicine. She had a few suckers, <laughs> but she's uh she's okay right now. So y'all just keep her in your prayers, so that when that feeling comes back, she won't be in pain and she'll yeah. have a quick recovery from this and she'll be okay. Yep, I love right. her. And y'all also keep baby Pharaoh with our Brown farmhouse mm -hmm. in your prayers. He's having open heart surgery Wednesday, the 10th. And he's just a tiny baby. Like he's not even a year old. I don't think he's mm. a young baby. Keep him in your prayers. Are they coming to the, I doubt it. Not with this surgery mm. going on. I really don't know though. Um, what else was I going to tell y'all? Um, Oh, we had some questions. Uh, Renee's been putting a poll out on Instagram and Facebook asking if y'all had any questions for us for our lives. So we had a couple of questions on there. This one was from <clears throat> Three Xenia. And it's how can you make a smaller space along the side of your house a pretty potage garden? So my potage garden is fairly big. But that's the beauty of potager gardens because they can be any size, any configuration, any style. They, they can be super small. They can be super large. And I think on the side of a house in a small space, you can make a beautiful potager garden. Hey, Alan and Wendy. Hey, y'all. How you doing? Alan and Wendy is A&W with... Mini Farm. Yep. Y'all go check out their YouTube channel, too. 
Um, so Quilting Mama, hey Quilting Mama, you have a YouTube channel, don't you? Um, but yeah, you can put a uh, protege on the side of your house. Crazy Lizzie Goat Farm. Put a ton in Glenda, it. they have a YouTube channel. Y'all go check them out. Yeah, so what I would do is if, if I was designing that space, I would use the wall of my house as like part of your garden wall. And then the rest of the side, you could do like raised beds. You could do a configuration of raised beds and you could do pathways like gravel pathways or something with those raised beds and the wall of your house. I would, if you can, like espalier a fruit tree on that wall, um, you know, grow, put some kind of trellis there and grow something really pretty on it. It would make like a garden wall. If you don't want to grow on that wall, you could put like some kind of wall art, some kind of garden art on that wall. But I think that that would be a lovely space. And then do your uh, do a lot of raised beds, create your raised beds for your potage garden. So yeah, Phyllis, so we, I found uh, the perfect gate. We were, we're always looking for gates. So I found the perfect gate, beautiful gate, um, locally here on, on the marketplace. We was going to put it in our backyard going into our out. We're going to make an outdoor thing out here. But And it was sold after I showed it to her. She loved it. It was yeah, perfect. Yeah, it was gone. Tater Farm said, I love, really loved your video series on designing your garden. Thank you. Um Hey, Meg's Little House in the Country. That's a YouTube channel, too. Y'all go check it out. Um, I just missed something. I saw a question and I missed it. Catherine, your post is bigger than my whole party. <laughs> oh, hey, Phyllis, how's it going? Looking forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks. Um, the other question we had is what is the mulch stuff in your garden beds? This was from Rustic Valley View Farmhouse. We have um, all different kinds of mulch in the garden. It's pretty much whatever we can get our hands That's on. Right. Um, we have, le we use leaves, we use hay, <coughs> we use- um, Rabbit manure, wood chips. Yeah. Everything. I think probably what, this person is referring to is, is the hay, is the hay. hay and it's coastal Bermuda hay and it's not supposed to have all those weed seeds. So that's yep. what's out there right now. Mm -hmm. That's what we were able to get a hold of this year. I wish, gosh, I wish we could get wood chips. We've tried. I've stopped mm. on, I've stopped and talked to the tree cutting people, the aspen yeah. people. Yeah. And they do something else. What do they do? They, they have, they have on their truck. Yeah. They have to take it out to a dump. They have contracts with, they have to fill in. So. Yeah. And it's a big liability for them to come down. Unless you know somebody personally, it's kind of hard to get them to come out. It stinks. Um, I wish we had it. But yeah, it's not, <clears throat> it's not good to use like all wood chips all the time or all a certain thing. Yeah. You need to mix it up because if you just use, say, wood chips all the time, you're going to have too much uh, carbon in your soil mm -hmm. and it's not going to do good. Yeah. So try to mix it up. Thank you, Quilting Mama. Quilting Mama. <laughs> oh, she's quilting lots of quilts for me. Connie Lindsay Woolley. Hey. Hey, Connie Lindsay. How are y'all? Hadn't talked to y'all in a long time. How's the how's the retired life? <clears throat> are they retired? Her husband is, and I'm sure she probably David is. is? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. Check with big family, small farm. Big family, small farm. Yes, have we have, we have a few. There's actually some right behind the, I seen the big lo lead, the mm -hmm. locust. Actually, they're about that long, but yeah, um, we have some over on the hunting club too, but we do have a few black locusts out here. Actually, I planted mm -hmm. one over there, mom and dad's side. Those are like fertilizer type trees mm -hmm. too. But if you get some, thank hemp, you, Alan. Thank you very much. We look forward to seeing y'all next week. Hanging out with all our friends. 
Uh, Catherine says she knows somebody has a wood chipper. Yeah, that's that what I would nice. love to. I would love to get That'd a wood nice. chipper in one of these days um, and just even chip, you know, just the garden debris. Mm -hmm. Man, that would be fine. Yep. The room was not built in a day. Looking for South Southwest Kansas. Here we go. All right. So what else has been going on? What well, else did we do this we past did the, weekend? We did a lot of planting. The fence. Um, Let the goats free. Well, we looked at it. today <clears throat> during my lunch break, we looked at um, what we're going to do with a greenhouse because we want a larger greenhouse and one that's more usable. I mean, what we've got is working for now, but um, it's like a four years on the plastic but we're going to um, use that for about another year or so mm -hmm. and then take it down. I'm going to take it down and um, use the cattle panels and other places, utilize those. But I'm going to build her a fabulous greenhouse. Yeah. It's going to be, I'm going to paint it green. No, no you're not. No, it's going to be, it's going to be gorgeous. So Jean built me this greenhouse four years ago, I think, yeah. out of cattle panels. There's no, there's a window in the front and the back and there's no, there wasn't a way to do the sides up so you could get a lot of ventilation on the side when it's winter, summertime. Yeah. Cause it just gets too hot in there, but, um, it's serving it per its purpose right now, but I'm going to really make her a fabulous greenhouse where she will have zero excuses. <laughs> She, that greenhouse has grown a lot of plants know, this year. I know. I think this is my most successful seed starting year yeah. ever. Oh, yeah. It's full. It's still full. And I've been planting and planting, and it's still full. Tony built mine, but now it's becoming smaller and smaller. Yes, smaller and smaller. It okay. ran out of space. Got a question. How do you make your blackberries and raspberries grow like pH fertilizer? What now? Grow like pH for how do you which what oh what, like what, pH what fertilizer, fertilizer. They need? um on the blackberries <clears throat> I use uh, grower special that's what I use because that's what Dr Powell always recommended to use was grower special which is a twelve six six a nursery special is another name for it uh, you. Probably, I don't know if you can get it at the big box stores, but you can usually get it at a um, at a garden keep, center, uh, like a rural king. You might have to yeah. find it there if they got one around you. Um, I think you can might could use like a 13, 13, 13. Um, but I like the 1266 and it works really good. Plus, I also add calcium nitrate in the after okay, so. I grow, we grow our blackberries on a trellis system. It's called a T-Pups system, which is a trellis system where you train the primocanes. And um, whenever it's time to cut all of those old canes out and start retraining your new canes, when I do that, I fertilize right then with a the calcium nitrate. And then we come in around March and start fertilizing with um, Grower Special. And as far as the pH, blackberries really they don't like I mean they they like five. Yeah, four. they they can do like an acidic to a neutral and they'll be fine. Four is too low, but like um acidic to more of a neutral is what they really love. But blackberries are just man, they grow that's what I was, pretty yeah. much. They'll grow in they'll grow yeah. on the side of the road. But we love growing ours on that trellis system. It takes work. It's a process. Well, they're beautiful this but year. They are beautiful. They are so we're having lots of blackberries this year. I know we are. But <laughs> it's also easier. It's easier to harvest. It's it keep, you don't have snakes underneath them. Okay, we had a question here. Are we going to pave the driveway and line sides with trees all the way down? That's what I've always <laughs> wanted to do, Chance. That's what I've always wanted to do. <clears throat> Hopefully one day when we get rich, <laughs> when we get rich, we'll pave that long well, 850 foot driveway. <laughs> well, the problem is the problem is the power line runs right down the fence on the property line and you can't really have large trees. We'd have to do a small 
20, 30 foot tree because it'll get mm. up in the power lines. Augusta, the masters. Wild dewberries. I love some wild dewberries. Yeah. There's good yeah. cobbler. Uh, Faye Bailey says there's a vendor in Chattanooga at Rough Grounds that cuts trees, finely grounds, rough cut such as mountains. Yep. Mm -hmm. I wish we had one of those. Summer Hill Homestead said something. It's gone now. I lost it. Keepers of Always. Yeah. Keepers of the Always wonderful event. I went last year. Oh, wish it could come this year. Yeah. And if you if you put um, mulch, mulch using pine bark all the time, too, you're going to get a lot of acidic. Your, your soul is going to really get acidic quick. Janet says, like the way Jason does in his garden. Yes. Jason grows. Jason at Cock Hill grows his blackberries like this, too, mm -hmm. on the tra on a trellis system. Mm -hmm. And it's really, I won't grow blackberries any other way than this, just because it's so much easier to maintain mm -hmm. and manage. Um, I got lots of seeds started, 100% germination this year. Wow. I'm a big fan of Hall Seeds, oh, yeah. Cat's Tiny Kitchen. Yes. Yes, we're a big <clears throat> fan of Hall's. Big fan. I've always had excellent germination with their seeds. Excellent. Yeah, we planted uh, we planted a lot. How many hills of watermelon this year we've planted already? Eight or ten with different? Eight, I think. Yeah. Uh, Chance said, why do we see less lightning bugs or any honeysuckle anymore? I'm reminiscing. I know we don't ever see lightning bugs anymore. Do y'all uh, do y'all see you, lightning bugs? About May, but it's almost getting time May, June. But we rarely see them. It's not like it used to be when they were kids. They used to go outside with a mason jar catching them. Lots of them. Well, and we don't see them that much anymore. Maybe it's the Illuminati. I don't know. Oh, Lord. I doubt Illuminati, it. get it. Illuminati. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. And honeysuckle? I don't know. Yeah, there's. we've got quite a bit of honeysuckle here. Yeah, we do have honeysuckle here. Honey you may not be it seeing it, Chance, because all the deer down there are eating it so quick. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we have some, honey, honey, some honeysuckle here. Generation Homestead said they finally got them a wheel hoe. We love our wheel hoe from Homestead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I seen they they've got a new contraption that that goes on there that puts seed it seeds too. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, I saw Perry Hill using that. Yeah, we have a ton of lightning bugs in our property, and it's so beautiful. Allison said he made homestead. Wow. Yeah, I, we rarely see them. I don't know what the deal is. You used to see them hit the windshield all the time, and you and your windshield would glow for a while. Mm hmm. Yep. Yep. Let's see. Oh, yeah. You, you planted a bunch of pumpkins, too. Lots of people are saying they have um, lots of lightning bugs. Flomaton, famous. Hey, hey, hey. How's it going? Hello, everyone. They have a YouTube channel, too. Y'all go check them out. Are y'all coming to Keepers of the Old Ways? They are. They're teaching classes there. That's good. He's That's teaching a class on grafting, and she's doing a class on um, health on the nice. farm, being healthy on the farm. Yep. Yep, yep. Looking forward to seeing y'all. See, everybody's <laughs> saying they got lightning bugs on their uh, property, Chance. Catherine, Catherine takes the lightning bugs and puts them on dog noses so the dogs go around like a lightning bug. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, uh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> I have sat here and shredded up this lavender. Smell, smells so good. Smells so good. The hummingbirds come back a couple of days ago, too. Yep. Yeah, we got to get our feeders yeah, out. Yeah, we got to get our My feeders gracious. out. Pop put his feeder, uh, didn't Pop put his, hum yeah, he, he did. put his hummingbird feeder out. He said, when come to the window. Oh, that's right. Kept coming to his window yep. saying, feed me, feed me. So he put his hummingbird feeder out. So, yeah, we, I, I think we mentioned it last video, but uh, live. Dad uh, I made him a garden out by his house. Uh, uh, I don't know. It's a pretty good size little plot, and he is like a little kid now again out there just planting, covering it up. He's having a good time in his garden. Um, oh yeah, Martin boxes. We I like Martins too, but um, <clears throat> we've got a a big uh, Martin house that you I don't know it's like a condo you put up in the air, <laughs> but we've got a lot of honeybees in the Martins. Uh, I've read up where they eat a ton of honeybees. Yeah. So I don't know. It's kind of a. 
we have a beautiful Martin house that yeah. we got from that we've antique actually got place. Two. We've actually got two. It's there's beautiful. one down there behind the, the creek shed, yeah. too, and then there's one in your... Yeah, but we got an old vintage one that I got at the vintage barn picking mm -hmm. event, and it's so cool, but mm -hmm. it's in my garden shed. Crazy Lizzie Goat Farm is doing a soap class at the um, Keepers of the Old Ways. Yeah, Alan, uh, we're... She well, I I built her a gourd um tunnel. Uh -huh. So she's gonna grow hers too. He's planting yeah. birdhouse ones. Okay. Okay, you're gonna grow the birdhouse gourds. I'm just gonna grow those little decorative gourds this year for fall. That's what I'm gonna do this year. But um um I wish I had somewhere else to do those. Yeah, I'm with you. Gourds. I'm with you, Chase. I don't wanna pave Chase it says either. don't pave leave it, it, leave it natural. Yep. It's probably what we're gonna have to do, son, because yeah. it's gonna cost a lot of money to pave that. Mm -hmm. That's a long driveway. Yeah, lufa seeds. Cool. I've got some lufa seeds. Mm -hmm. Do you need lufa seeds? I'll share some with you. Mm -hmm. Let me know, uh, Wendy, Alan. Y'all need lufa no, seeds. No, you didn't plant pumpkins. You are going to plant pumpkins. Right? I'm going to plant yeah. pumpkins. I haven't planted I pumpkins her. too early. Don't listen to me on a lot of the stuff. Too early. She's, we'll have yeah. pumpkins in uh, July. <laughs> I know you've got rows you designed for the. Pumpkins. Yeah, I got I got a place ready for my pumpkins, but I'm not planting pumpkins yet. Like, kind of my rule of thumb of planting pumpkins is around the 1st of July, no later than 4th of July. And then we'll have pumpkins ready right about mm -hmm. October mm -hmm. when you want pumpkins to be ready. Yeah. Hi from Nashville. Hey, Jeremy. That's a. Uh, yep. That's Axe Sam. Man. That's, that's, Sam that's Tomahawk. <laughs> He's been. Hey, man, I seen where you were going to do that. Uh, not medieval, but the um, Irish kilt type. Uh, games, <laughs> the Highlander games. Are you gonna wear guys, a kilt? That's Are you gonna cool. wear one, Jeremy? I can see you please in one of those one of those big rocks going and just throwing it. <laughs> please send us a picture of that. <laughs> and then drinking you a big tall boy glass of Irish ale. How's Sam feeling? <laughs> okay, so Jeremy and Sam is our daughter in law Renee's brother in law and sister. And they are in Nashville. <coughs> yes. When do you plant lufa seeds? Uh, I think you could be planting them now. You might want to wait till it warms up a little bit more. Um, but I think you could plant lufas. I would have, say probably around the end of this month, you'd probably be safe with that. Y'all um, y'all been seeing a lot of snakes yet? Um, thank God I hadn't really seen any yet, but. I'm, I'm sure. missing something. Uh, Higher Grounds Heather says she's bringing something. I'm mm -hmm. missing something. Do, do, to gener do. to um, Deb at Generations Homestead. Don't forget mine, Heather. What y'all talking about? Uh, oh, Chris said they have snakes. I hate snakes, man. I hate them. I hate well. snakes. Yeah. Snakes. Started my tomatoes. Meg's little house started her tomatoes. Water moccasins. Oh, I hope gosh. we have better luck than last year. Yeah, it's tomatoes. I don't know. It's like one year we have a great tomato year, and then the next year we're like, we don't have any tomatoes. So I don't know. We found us some Atkinsons, though. Yeah. I'm excited to get them. Oh, Connie's got a snake, snake in her flower oh, bed. Gosh. Oh, see, that's what I'm so scared of mm. because all of my cottage garden beds around our house is mulched with pine straw. And right behind, like the back of our house is a bank with a creek, like a major big creek. I'm always scared to death that there's going to be a snake like mm -hmm. in that pond, I'm going to be working, pulling mm -hmm. weeds or something. And there's, I'm picking up a snake. Oh, Diana, you got your herb seeds from Hall Saturday. All right. So, so about, mm, it's about five years ago, Tracy was sitting out here in a chair in the summertime, watching the Creek right here. I mean, just right here, 15 feet from the house. I come walking up and I was like, what are you doing? She said, I'm just enjoying the outdoors, looking at the Creek. <laughs> kid you not less than five feet away 
is a rattlesnake. No, oh, it was Craw a copperhead. It was a it? rattlesnake oh. crawling up the bank. And it wasn't in strike mode, but it was. Um, it was stalking it, me. It it was coming right at her. And when I said, Tracy, don't move. You were seeing her. Oh. <laughs> it was like Scooby-Doo. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me not to move. I'm going to move quick. Yeah. Oh, my Lord. I, I hate, hate snakes. them. I hate them. Snakes, snakes, snakes. Yeah, they get in our nesting boxes, too. You know, I know that chicken snakes aren't. Uh, there are some good snakes out there, but harmful. That's okay. But if there is a chicken snake in my nesting box, Ooh. it's it's not going to stay alive. I'm sorry. What is it? Uh, what did Jeremy say? But the, if I go to the Highlander Games in a kilt, I'll send you pictures. <laughs> Please do. Yeah, that the Please eclipse. I heard the eclipse was pretty good in the Kentucky area too. That's that's crazy. Mothballs keep snakes away. Okay. Oh yeah. And yeah, peppermint plants. That's why a lot of older I folks home back. Oh, well, you can smell mothballs when you go to you keep spiders out too. The vapors. I knew it kept spiders and moths and stuff like that, but I didn't know snakes. Mm -hmm. It's good to know. Yeah, but I still don't trust them. I've crawled under too many houses thinking there's going to be a snake hit me right in the head. Your goldfish is missing. You hope the snake didn't get it. Oh no! Oh my gosh! Oh, oh my, my gracious. gosh! Oh and now Phyllis gracious. is going to have nightmares because we're oh talking my, about Oh, my snakes. gracious. I can't stand them. Oh, mm, mm, mm. Renee says, don't tell me those stories. That's right. I forgot. We're not allowed to tell stories about snakes around Renee. <laughs> mm. There's no snakes anywhere around our property. Mm. We're snake free. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Oh, man. Well, we have uh, we have big Cove Creek running through our farm. Man, that sounds good. We got a farm still amazes me. I know it. So Generations Homestead, Rob and Deb have finally got their dream farm. And I'm so excited for them because we prayed with them for God to make impossible things possible. And help them to get the farm of their dreams and they are living it. They are on their farm now and living their dream. And we're so happy about that. Catherine sent me a link and um, we did a couple of years. I don't know, gosh, I don't know, three years ago now, two years, three years ago, we did a video of our testimony video of how God blessed us with this farm. And it was absolutely impossible for us to get this far. It was impossible. Like there's humanly impossible, but God did crazy, miraculous things and made it possible for us to get this farm. So we shared that testimony and um, <clears throat> it blessed so many people. It really did because I know there are so many people out there dreaming for things jordan even for things what are you doing up boy boy jordan what you get in that bed boy <laughs> what's up jordan um, oh boy he's supposed to be in bed he's supposed to be in bed oh. so jordan is so our son chase and he's married to kaylani and they're having our granddaughter um Ooh. ella rain and she has two children jordan and kiana which are now our grandchildren. And Jordan stay And up. Jordan's supposed to be in bed. <laughs> They're an hour in ahead. Bed, boy. They're up in New Hampshire. Uh, uh, bah, 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 bah. Anyway, so, so, so you our did that with me. You went. Uh, uh, uh. So anyway, our test. Wait, pray for Stephen. He left for Africa oh. today. Okay, crazy hey, Lizzie go farm. Yeah, Stephen left on his mission trip to Africa today. We will keep him in his yes. in our prayers. Y'all keep him in your prayers. Keep him covered. Yes. Safety, protection. God will use. I him. won't never forget when I asked Tracy. <laughs> told her we needed to go to Africa. That that God was asking us to go to Africa on a mission trip. She was in the bathtub. And she said, "There ain't no way I'm going to Africa. No." <laughs> But God. guess what? I went to Africa. <laughs> don't ever, <laughs> don't weeks. ever tell God you're not going to oh, do something. Boy. Um. So anyway, our testimony really, I think, helped a lot of people. And Rob and Deb, we met them at one of our meet and greet events, and they come up and shared 
how that that blessed them and now they're living their dream they're on mm -hmm. their farm so i love it i love those stories <coughs> no phyllis that's that's not we're not talking about the couple that we prayed with at the meet and greet event but do you know that they come every year they so phyllis cap asked is that the couple from the first youtubers meet and greet so we had our very first youtubers meet and greet which will be three years ago now at pedals from the past and there is this young couple that came up she can't keep and they were sharing their story with us and asked that we pray for them because he needed a job and he was going for a job interview and they just needed our prayers. So we gathered up around them, Phyllis and Mark and Jean and me and Pop and Mom. We all gathered up around them right there in the middle of the meet and greet event and we prayed with them. And uh, the next event, they came back and shared that he got that job and they were just mm -hmm. excelling they were doing wonderful and every event after since then that we've been at they've come and it's just a continued uh, uh testimony of what god's doing in their life it's just such a blessing such a blessing um let's see <coughs> <coughs> Are you going to the, any snake is a dead one. I'm with you, son. Any snake is a dead one. So our chicken coop has bullet holes in it. <laughs> it's, got, it's got bullet holes in it when there's snakes in the nesting boxes. I I'm not gonna get a hoe and she, pull that snake it, out and play with that. It always thing. happens. It's gonna die right there in that nesting box. It always happens when I'm out of town. <laughs> Tracy will call. <laughs> There's a six foot chicken snake in the Chase. Chase has tackled a few of those snakes out yeah. of the nesting box a few times. Mm. <laughs> what's crazy we're both out there scared to death. What's crazy is is when you have a square box that they lay the eggs in i can't do this right you you have the square box where they they lay the eggs in and you'll see the snake down here at the bottom with the eggs and then you go to get a hoe or something to reach in there and grab it out the thing goes up and does a <laughs> spider-man thing where it's up here in the in the roof of it yeah waiting for you to put your hand and it oh it I oh can't that stand it. when they did that it was on can't it was time it. for a little lead poisoning mm -mm. Mm. Yes, Tater Farm. I needed my tea tonight. I've got <coughs> my allergies are just man. The past few months. I wonder why month. you're sitting here digging. That's, I'm not allergic to lavender. Lavender's good. For it's me. more than lavender. You got it's all the pollen on those stupid pine trees. Um, mm. Red Dirt Road Homestead, right. Homestead said that their testimony is not much different than theirs. Hey, I just had a good idea, mm. y'all. So, um, Deb. And Rob at Generations Homestead. I've talked to them before. I'm going to go out when I get my In Her Boots series coming up again for this fall. I'm going to go out and interview Deb. And we're going to talk about how what God did help them to get their farm. So uh, Red Dirt Road Homestead was just saying that they have a very similar testimony to us. So let's do this, y'all. I think this is a good idea. I think we'll do a video. Spit it out. Spit it and out. And share. Well, I'm thinking as I'm talking. I know. <laughs> we'll share different people's testimonies on a video and talk about how God made impossible dreams possible. So I'm going to start getting this in the works, but I think it'd be super cool if y'all have a testimony like that about how God's made something impossible possible for you that you've been believing and dreaming for. Send let, video a little clip, just a little three to three to five minute little clip telling what God did and send it to me. I think maybe through email it would work just to get farms at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get a little video together and, and we'll talk about impossible dreams come impossible. How's that sound? Sounds fun, don't it? Mm -hmm. so yeah let's start working on that we sold our house in a neighborhood and moved into a camper not knowing where we were going to live until we found our land yep it's awesome heather 
Awesome okay. testimonies. Uh, Chase says Jordan went to bed now. <laughs> <laughs> Anna Dale Homestead, what are you doing up hey, on here? Hey, Anna Dale. How are you doing? How's it going? Hey, mark, it, mark your calendar, September 14th. We're going to do the Great Fall Garden Festival again. We're going to start getting it planned and in the works coming up soon. Um, put it on your calendar. I hope you can come. Red Dirt Road, Homestead said, my husband's a pastor. A short video may not be possible. <laughs> praise report videos, yeah. Yeah, praise report videos. I love it. I love it. So real quick, so... Some of y'all have heard Jewel, that. Hey, Jewel has the same story. His sister, Jewel, has the same story. She, I did a little video on her when she was mm -hmm. down here, but she bought a farm and land just 10 minutes down the yeah. road from us. So, yeah, send a little clip of your testimony to Jewel. So, I know it's getting late, but we, I want to tell y'all this real quick. <laughs> Some of y'all may remember the song, uh, The Day the Squirrel Went Berserk <laughs> in <the> church. <laughs> uh, and uh, the squirrel went, got all up through the rows and all. Well, anyway, so my aunt, what are you doing? Tell me to quit. Uh -huh. So, uh, <laughs> so my aunt was here this past weekend, and we were sitting out there eat, eating uh, lunch, and she has her dress on coming from church. So, uh, we were sitting outside, and you know how all the bumblebees are just crazy right now. They're everywhere. Are well, nuts. these these two bees were just going at it. You know, well, me and <laughs> The two went down and went down to her ankles. And then I was like, oh, Lord. And it started going up. And I was thinking, it's fixing to be a song out here. She's going to be shouting and praising the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> the bumblebees going up her dress. Oh, gosh. But she's like, I think Emma's like 83, 82. I think she's 83. And mm -hmm. Yeah, that was crazy. Funny. Oh, boy. It's going to have a new song for y'all. Yeah. The day the... Bees went berserk in Aunt Emma's skirt. <laughs> what the buzz, Today the bees went berserk in Aunt Emma's that's skirt. That's what the buzz is all about. <laughs> oh, well, man. guys, thank y'all for hanging out with us. Yeah, it's 8.30, y'all. Yes. It goes by so fast. Yes, it's past my bedtime. Yeah, we go to bed around here at 8.30 or 9. <laughs> uh, but uh, we get up early, too. So yeah. try. try to. Well, y'all have a good night. Awesome, Andale. I'll get you information on the event. Uh, we're getting past Antiques in the Garden, which is the 20th. And then we're going to start Jacqueline and Zoe and I are going to start getting plans in the works for our Great Fall Garden Festival. Yep. See you Saturday, next Saturday. Um, all right, y'all. We love y'all. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Good night. We'll see y'all next Monday. Bye. Past my bedtime. Good night, everyone. <laughs>